Hello dear students, welcome to Europedia. Today in this session we are going to discuss 2020 TSPSC control system questions. In Telangana Public Service Commission in the year 2020 some questions are asked from control systems. Good number of questions were asked. We are going to see those questions and solutions also. Let's enter into the questions. Let's read the first question. Ma. That is the overall transfer function C by R of the signal flow graph as shown in figure is. For solving this question, no pen paper required. Directly you can solve. Or by using pen paper also, yes, we can solve. In the later, we are going to see what is the shortcut method. See, first of all, I can say Masson's gain formula is not applicable. Why? Because input node is not defined. Masson gain formula is not applicable. If Masson's gain formula is not applicable, we have to go with the algebraic equations method. The very basic method of solving any signal flow graph is uh, algebraic equations method as that is difficult if, if you go for more number of nodes we are going for Masson's gain formula but if Masson's gain formula is not applicable we have to go with the basic method that is algebraic equation method now let's write that he's asking about uh, overall transfer function c by r overall transfer function means what yeah overall transfer function is c by r yeah so c is equal to write uh, the equation the value of a node is affected by only its incoming branches it is unaffected by outgoing branches so based on that c is equal to r node is incoming with a gain of g and c node is incoming to itself self loop it is self loop you can see self loop so that is how much c into c node is incoming to c with a gain of minus a h2 so if we take to that side c into 1 plus h2 is equal to r into g so c by r is equal to g by 1 plus h2 g by 1 plus h2 so what is the option ma? g by 1 plus h2 option 3 is correct so i told you that we can solve this one without pen paper first of all whenever this type of structure you see h1 will not come in the option so option 1 is eliminated option 2 is also eliminated option d is having only g therefore option 3 is the answer so if you know the concept answering this type of questions is going to be very easy let's move to the next question ma. next question yeah read it reduction in steady state error and increase in damping constant is done respectively by means of he want reduction in steady state error steady state error will be reduced with the lag compensation but because lag compensation lag compensator lag compensator will increase the type will increase the type of the system type of the system that will in turn will reduce steady state error that in turn will reduce steady state error so lag compensator is used to reduce steady state error he want the increment in damping constant that can be done with uh, yes uh, derivative error derivative compensation that can be done with uh, derivative compensation yes uh, option is to that can be done with derivative error compensation okay yeah let's move to the next question so this is theory question once you know the concept directly you can answer it each question in technical paper carries two marks for tspsc okay let's go for the next question ma. yeah Consider the state space representation of a system. Yeah, some figures are not visible here. Let me write those. So this is a first element of the matrix is 0. This is 1. This is minus 2. Yes, this is minus 3. And this is minus 2. This is minus 2. Okay. Yeah. Consider the state space representation of a system. X is equal to X dot. In fact, it is X dot of T is equal to matrix is 0, 1, minus 2, minus 3 into X plus minus 2, minus 2 into U and Y is equal to minus 2, minus 2 X. Pick up the correct statement. The system is not observable but controllable. System is neither observable nor controllable. System is observable but not controllable. System is observable and controllable. We have to check for observability and controllability. How to check that by using Kalman's test? What Kalman's test says is there is an observability matrix called QO which can be written as C, CA and so on. CA square and so on. Okay. And we have to find the rank of this observability matrix uh, if it is less than if it is less than the order of the system then we can say that it is not observable what is order of the system second order it is why because our matrix a is 2 by 2 matrix a is 2 by 2 okay if you see see this rank of the matrix rank of the matrix is less than that we can say that system is not observable what is a controllability matrix controllability matrix is a q c is equal to s b s b a b 
yes sir, a square b and so on and so on here also we have to find the rank of the matrix yes now let's find a q uh, c first control t b what is matrix b matrix b is minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 what is a b what is a b matrix a b is uh, a is what a is uh, see i am writing here a is equal to 0 1 minus 2 minus 3 and what is b what is b b is minus 2 minus 2 so minus 2 minus 2 then what we are going to get uh, minus 2 and this is minus of minus into minus two is how much 4 4 plus uh, uh, how much it is 6 it is 10 4 plus 6 is 10 minus 2 comma 10 so a b matrix a b is minus 2 comma 10 so minus 2 and 10 minus 2 and 10 find the rank of the matrix to see the matrix this matrix size is 2 by 2 this matrix size is 2 by 2 if the rank of the matrix is also 2 then we can say that it is a controllable if the mat rank of the matrix is less than 2 we can say that it is uncontrollable find the debt of that find the, the debt of <coughs> sorry qc how much it is minus uh, 20 it is yes minus 20 minus of uh, yes uh, how much it is uh, yeah anyhow it is not equal to 0 if you calculate uh, minus of minus 2 into minus 2 is uh, uh, plus 4 so it is minus 24 it is not equal to 0 therefore its rank is 2 yeah qc matrix rank is a uh, rank of <coughs> rank of qc is 2 therefore i can say that my system is controllable let's check for observability let's check for observability yes for observability we have to take like this for observability we have to take like this what is that we have to take qo is a uh, b sorry c c a okay what is matrix c what is matrix c come on come back here matrix c is uh, i can say minus 2 comma minus 2 yes minus 2 minus 2 now what is c a c is <coughs> minus 2 minus 2 and a is and a is yes uh, 0 1 minus 2 minus 3 yes 0 1 yes minus 2 minus 3 yeah this is uh, a 2 by 2 matrix and this is a uh, 1 by 2 matrix finally i have to get <coughs> 1 by 2 matrix finally i have to get 1 by 2 matrix so ca is equal to yes so uh, this one should be multiplied with this way yes and this one should be multiplied with uh, this way yes how much you are going to get see we know what is mul matrix multiplication in matrix multiplication suppose uh, some people they might forgot how to do matrix multiplication just for them i'll teach how it is done easily for them how it is done i'll, I'll tell easily okay yeah come on here suppose i have yeah one two and this is a, a b c d so this row this row is multiplied with this column okay then how much i'm going to get this row see this is the row and in fact this this is not possible this is not possible this is two by two and uh, this is two by one yeah this mul multiplication is not possible sorry let me take an appropriate example yes let me take an appropriate example yeah so i can write uh, a b c d and i can write 1 2 sorry 1 and 2 so this is 2 by 1 this is 2 by 2 now this multiplication is possible what we are doing this entire row we are multiplying with this entire column okay now what we have we have like this a b and c d e f this entire row we have to multiply this with entire column yes so please do uh, some see these things may confuse you in the examination you may lose the mark okay now this uh, entire row we have to multiply this with entire column how much it is minus 2 into 0 is 0 minus 2 into minus 2 is how much ma? 4 yes again this one with this one minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 minus 2 into minus 3 minus 2 plus uh, 6 it is how much it is 4 we got a uh, ca as uh, i think yeah we we have to write like this yeah ca we have to write it write it as like this yeah let me write it yeah 4 comma 4 this way i have to write ca why because this is 1 by 2 i have to get 1 by 2 so one row and two columns yes this is 4 and this is 4 if you find the debt of this observable to matrix definitely this is equal to 0 why because both the elements are same how much it is uh, minus 2 into 4 will be minus 8 minus of uh, 4 into minus will be minus 8 minus of minus 8 is plus 8 minus 8 plus 8 is equal to 0 so the debt of this matrix is equal to 0 therefore i can say that uh, rank of this matrix is less than 2 therefore the system is unobservable so the answer is 
the answer is yes sir. system is controllable but unobservable option one is correct very simple but you must be careful while doing these calculations in the examination why because in the hurry there is a possibility that you can commit mistake in the hurry you can commit mistake okay yeah read this question the nyquist stability criteria in nyquist stability criteria the phase margin is the number of degrees by which the angle at the gain plus or frequency has to be changed so that the phase becomes yes it is 180 degrees yeah 180 degrees that is direct question that is direct question no need to think yeah what is the phase margin phase margin is equal to first of all what is the definition of phase margin it is the amount of phase that can be added to the open loop transfer function before it can be unstable yes that is phase margin what is phase margin formula 180 plus 5gc 180 plus 5gc so 5gc is what gain 5gc is the phase angle of the given open loop transfer function at gain plus or frequency so till this become equal to <coughs> yes 180 yes sir. how much is the how much is the degrees we are going to take into consideration that is a 180 okay let's go to the next question ma yeah this is very simple question which of the following is are the properties of the state transition matrix yeah first one is a phi of 0 is equal to i yes it is very much why because what is phi of t phi of t is equal to e power at yes sir. that is equal to if you keep a phi of 0 how much is the matrix are going to get identity matrix are going to get where a is a matrix here okay please don't misunderstand a is not a number it is a matrix okay what is the second one phi of 0 is not equal to i no phi of 0 is equal to i means phi of 0 not equal to i is not correct wrong it is let's go to the third one yeah phi of t whole inverse phi of t whole inverse that is what e power at whole inverse what is that e power a into minus t e power minus at that can be written as a phi of uh, minus t phi of minus t yes the third one is correct very much correct let's go to the fourth one what is the fourth one phi of t2 minus t1 into phi of t1 minus t0 so this can be written as e power a t2 minus t1 into e power a t1 minus t0 yeah then what we have to do we have to add the powers if you add the powers what you are going to get e power a into t2 minus t0 you are going to get now let's see in the options what he given t0 minus t2 no it's not correct this is not correct second one is also not correct yes sir see total four given 1 2 3 4 second one and fourth one are not correct one and three are correct option is one option is one one and three are correct that much simple it is let's go to the next question the rc network shown in figure is uh, represents lead lag compensator lag lead compensator lead compensator lag compensator it is lag compensator you are taking voltage across this uh, resistance and capacitance combination it is a lag compensator that is a direct question no need to put any effort yeah this question is from block diagrams this is also very simple question to solve okay observe it for the given system shown figure shown in figure which of the following is equivalent circuit for moving summing point to the left so see i'll tell you what is y value from the given question y is equal to xg plus w y is equal to xg plus w check which of the options is giving the same y value okay same y value and uh, same y value that's all okay now from this one y is equal to what xg only xg only why because see this w is going uh, it, it is an output not an input okay then check for the second one y is equal to yes x plus x plus 1 by g into w into g into g yes see if you see x is coming to the summing point with plus symbol w into 1 by g is coming with plus symbol both are getting added and those are getting multiplied with g so x plus w by g into g is equal to y now if you solve this one x is y is equal to xz plus w y because this g this g will get cancel so this is matching with this one which option is matching option 2 is matching you can check for other options also sometimes more than one option may match now let's see y is equal to what is this xg plus wg xz plus wg third one wrong this is wrong now fourth option you see fourth option what is that y is equal to directly xz only y is equal to direct xz only so none of the options are matching except two therefore option is 2 okay let's go for the next question ma the steady state error for the transfer function g of s is equal to 
1000 into s plus 1 by s plus 10 into s plus 50 for the unit step input and the unit uh, ramp input is respectively direct question no pen paper required see what is the steady state error formula ESS is equal to a by 1 plus kp for step input a is the magnitude of the step how much it is 1 uh, because uh, the given question is unit step kp is what limit s tends to 0 g of institute to h of s if you do that you are going to get 1000 by 100 into 50 500 1000 by 500 is 2 so ESS is equal to A by 1 plus KP for step input. A is the magnitude of the step. How much it is? 1. Why? Because he mentioned it as unit step by 1 plus KP. What is KP? KP is equal to limit S tends to 0 G of S into H of S. G of S into H of S. Anyhow, H of S is equal to 1. If you do that, you are going to get 1000 by 500. That is equal to 2. If you substitute that one in this one, 1 by 1 plus 2. How much it is? 1 by 3. That is equal to 0 0.333. Yes, that is the next one is and for unit ramp input no need to check no need to check see if if the input is uh, see if the input is ramp and the system is of type 0 steady state error will be infinite i'll tell you how it is so what is that ess is equal to a by kv a is 1 why because unit ramp it is a is 1 what is kv kv is equal to limit s tends to 0 yes s into g of s into h of s so s into what is g of s into h of s 1000 into s plus 1 by s plus 10 into s plus 50 if you do this you are going to get kv is equal to 0 now what is ess a by kv if you substitute here 0 that is going to become equal to infinity so answer a is a 0.33 comma infinity option 3 some people in hurry they will click for 0 comma 0.33 they will get the wrong answer okay see option 3 is correct for a unit step <coughs> unit ramp respectively asked so first you have to calculate first step how much it is 0.33 and for ramp it is zero directly yeah the next question which of the following statements are corrected to draw the root locus for a open loop transfer function of g of s into h of s is equal to k into <coughs> sorry k into s square plus 2s plus 2 by s square into s plus 4 centroid is at minus 2 for finding centroid we have to take sum of see what is centroid formula sigma a is equal to sum of poles minus sum of zeros by number of poles number of poles minus number of zeros minus number of zeros you do this one you get the centroid i'm not going to calculate it you do this one okay root locus <coughs> on real axis lies between minus infinity and minus two yeah you do one thing put poles and zeros in s plane you just keep poles and zeros in s plane yeah i'm keeping it two poles are there at origin s square is there and one pole, one one more pole is there at minus four where is the minus four yeah here it is sorry it is not zero it is a pole it is at a minus four we have two zeros what are the zero values s square plus 2s plus 2 so if i want zeros values minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4 b square minus 4 a c by 2 a so i'm going to get minus 1 plus r minus yes 4 minus 8 will be minus 4 this is j1 minus 1 plus r minus j1 so somewhere here minus 1 yes plus r minus j1 so this is uh, i can say <coughs> this point is minus 1 this is uh, j1 this is a uh, minus j1 now what is the second point root locus on real axis uh, lies between minus infinity and minus 2 minus infinity and minus 2 i don't know why he got minus 2 maybe centroid is calculating let's find let's find centroid also as we did the as we got the number of the zeros also number of sum of poles i have only one pole how much it is centroid i'm calculating here sigma a is equal to yes minus 4 or 2 minus 4 it is minus 4 yeah minus 4 minus sum of zeros i have two zeros both are complex zeros if you add those two real imaginary part will get cancelled only real part we are going to have how much it is minus two <coughs> minus two of minus two is plus two by sum of poles total number of poles four we three we have and number of zeros are two so this is going to become equal to one minus four plus two will be minus two centroid is at minus two centroid is at minus two this is the centroid and centroid is not, nothing to do with the existence of root locus in fact on real axis where root locus exists uh, on real axis root locus exists uh, at uh, the place where to its uh, uh, see to the right side of that point total number of poles and zeros must be odd in number right <coughs> sorry <coughs> on root loc root locus on real axis lie between minus infinity and minus 2 i can say see uh, here uh, 
I can say on real axis between 0 to minus 4 nowhere it exists on real axis why because you take any point on real axis between 0 and minus 4 the total number of poles and zeros existing right side to that point will be even in number 2 poles 2 zeros if you if you take this 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 point I'll, I'll, I'll highlight if you take this region to this region the total number of poles existing right side are 2 yes so in this region if you take in this region if you take total number of poles and zeros existing right side to that point are even in number two pole two zeros two poles total will be four the total number of poles and zeros existing right side to a point that you selected must be odd in number therefore see between minus two see this is minus two this is minus two between minus two and minus infinity no root locus exists yes sir. if you take up after four after minus four in fact yes root locus will exist on uh, i can say root locus will exist on real axis why because the total number of poles and zeros existing at any point after minus four to the left of our explain will be odd in number yes sir. option two is wrong option a is correct okay uh, option c you see uh, the root loci breaks uh, the root log i break away at uh, s is equal to 0 yes very much yes third one is also correct but because option c is also correct but because at the uh, origin how many poles we have we have two poles if there are two poles definitely those poles must break away from there yes so third one is correct fourth one angle of asymptotes at uh, uh, angle of asymptotes is at a complex 0 minus 1 uh, 1 plus j2 i think there is some ambiguity with this option angle of asymptotes see angle must be in degrees angle of asymptotes is at complex 0 1 plus j2 no asymptotes will be existing asymptotes will be existing at a minus 1 plus j2 sorry minus 2 plus j1 why because we got the centroid where we got the centroid yes centroid is at minus 2 sorry not at j1 centroid is at minus 2 therefore angle not angle asymptotes will be existing at a minus 2 okay there is some ambiguity with option d okay uh, i think there is a printing mistake okay fine a and c are correct a and c are correct yes option 4 is correct a and c so nowhere see in this uh, b is there in this b is there b is wrong one is not correct see first of all op op that uh, option d itself is wrong the framing itself is wrong i think in the examination is given in the same way okay and uh, b and d see b is absolutely wrong b is absolutely wrong all options are having b except option 4 therefore a and c are correct a and c are correct let's go to the next question ma. the angle of asymptotes of the root root locus of a unity feedback system with a transfer function k into s plus 4 by s square plus 2s plus 2 is how many asymptotes will have number of asymptotes is equal to number of finite poles 2 number of finite zeros is 1 therefore how many asymptotes we have one asymptote what is the angle of asymptotes formula see 180 into 2q plus 1 uh, sorry that is angle that is angle of asymptotes by n minus m or number of poles minus number of zeros or the difference of that so see this is 1 this is 1 this n minus m is 1 so 180 into only one asymptote we have q is equal to 0 it will start 0 plus 1 is equal to how much it is 180 degrees it is how much 180 degrees option 2 yes so with this we are done with uh, the quest control systems questions asked in tspsc 2020 examination okay so almost we are done with the previous awe questions of uh, control systems uh, in the upcoming sessions we are going to take up uh, power systems uh, awe questions thank you